Corruption in life as we know it is really carried over now into blood drives here in the region, and uh, they are cutting into the supply by an estimated 30 percent. WMER 2 News Jeff Hager has one example of how a local chapter is now trying to make up the difference. An emergency blood drive here at Oregon Ridge Park and Baltimore County's top executive is setting the example for others to follow. It's donations by appointment only. The Baltimore County Executive Johnny Oshevsky made a point of fitting his donation into his busy schedule. Even in the midst of this crisis, the, the need hasn't stopped, so I wanted to come out personally and uh, give some of my O negative blood. Um, I, I like to think of myself as positive, but uh, Johnny O negative, I guess, today. In the last six weeks, the coronavirus outbreak has forced the cancellation of 10,000 blood drives across the country, the equivalent to 300,000 individual donations. There's a definite chance that you can run out of blood. It's a constant need for this product. The shelf life is very short. And if we have patients that are in need of products for things like transfusions or surgeries or any critical care, those blood products have to be on the shelf. And they're used on a regular basis. While the supply is weak, the desire to give remains strong. For the safety of volunteers and donors, each person is asked to sign up ahead of time to have their temperature taken at the door and to maintain social distancing once they're inside. You can go to www.redcrossblood.org and enter your zip code to find the blood drive nearest you. They've done an excellent job in uh, keeping uh, proper distancing, making sure the facility is adequately clean. So I know some people may be a little afraid to come out and I can appreciate that, but um, I think it's time for all of us to pitch in and do the best we can. Marylanders are allowed to go out and donate blood under the governor's executive stay-at-home order. Reporting in Baltimore County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.